hello and welcome back if you're new hello welcome feel free to subscribe today's video is definitely more youtuber and blogger orientated or those of us that are good into business so just to give you a heads up recently it has been in my head a lot about what's in a niche or if you're American I think they say niche um, but what is in a niche there's an awful lot of talk going on at the minute about zone in on your niche and find your niche and stick to it and all of that kind of jazz and I think that can be quite true for a lot of people but I think it may not be true for some of us for me for example it's not really working out so I'll give you a wee brief uh, I started out in beauty blogging because that seemed like the most natural thing to do being female to go into beauty and that sort of stuff and at the time that's where my interests lay and I watched a lot of beauty youtubers and I thought well this is fun I'm gonna get involved and I love it I really do love beauty and skincare and all that sort of stuff I've gradually incorporated fashion as well that seemed to sort of tie in really nicely and then in the last year or so I've started to build in more lifestyle stuff and I've come to the conclusion that my channel and my blog are more about well, the Onya magazine, as I like to think of it. Because when you pick up a magazine, it is gonna have everything from beauty, to fashion, to finance, to recipes, um, all sorts of everything, including your stars, horoscope stuff, if you're interested. But it's gonna be a multitude of different topics. And that is where my interests lie, because I am, I am fascinated by lots and lots of different things. And if you look at my subscriptions, I am subscribed to gamer channels, I'm subscribed to health channels and exercise, I'm subscribed to beauty channels, to fashion channel, challenge, chal oh I can't even say the word now, I've said it so often, but to fashion YouTubers and to also just lifestyle, general lifestyle YouTubers. And now that I'm doing more, I'm starting to get more involved in gluten free stuff because that has really impacted my life so I have to get more involved in that. And I also follow finance people and entrepreneur kind of channels and basically all sorts of every kind of stuff. And I also follow channels that cover a multitude of topics. So like shameless, Shamelessly Maya, she does all sorts. She covers tech, she covers beauty, she has chats, life chats with other people and she just covers whatever suits her. And the topics all seem to tie in fine. There doesn't seem to be any kind of, you know, just it's, it's not disorientating it's just that's her channel and she does all of the things so I'm wondering is it people can't see how you might succeed outside of a niche or if you happen to cover lots of niches they seem to think that maybe you won't be as successful maybe you won't but maybe that's just because your quality isn't there and like I know I, my videos when I started were well they're quite poor quality and I think they're getting better I am working really hard on making them better but I'm also broadening my horizons and I'm doing more things like we're aiming to go traveling so I think the travel is going to come up in that and I'm already talking about finances and getting organized and building your own business and all that kind of stuff and they seem to go down really well I have so many people commenting on those videos and getting engaged and starting conversations that it just makes my heart sing because that's where my passion is is at the minute and that's where I really enjoy creating videos and doing stuff around that topic so this is more of a conversation starter I want to find out more because there are people who love beauty and they are on that all of the time and they are really successful and that's great for them but it's their passion that is showing through surely because they're passionate about what they're doing it comes through in their videos and it's much more obvious and it's much more you know they're like what and they're giving it everything and that reflects and then people are more engaged and it's the same whenever I do my other sort of style videos as well as the beauty ones and people can see the passion coming through and I have had so much engagement and so many chats and stuff from those videos and I'm just wondering because this is something that goes round in my head an awful lot should I create multiple channels to cover all the different niches that I love. If I did that, it might become a complete and utter nightmare. I would end up completely splitting my subscribers and they would have to check me out in loads of different places. Surely if I'm just creating certain types of videos in certain days, 
they would catch up with them that way and they would watch what makes them happy. So I've decided I'm making a wee bit of a change and I also want your input in a decision that I'm trying to make. I, like I said, cover lots and lots of different topics but my main one will always come back to beauty and skincare and that sort of stuff because I love playing with all that and I love the colour and the vibrancy and it's great for my brain. My friends will tell you when I'm giving them makeovers, they're like, you just, the smile on your face and you're so happy and so focused. I love it. I really, really do. So I'm thinking of setting up a nice rotation where I will cover beauty topics. So that could be how to wear makeup, like has happened this week and how to wear the bold statement pieces and then more life topics on the Friday. So start of the week, Tuesdays are gonna be beauty, fashion, stuff. Fridays are gonna be everything life related. So that could be finance, small business, other stuff. And then I was considering, and this is the decision I want your help on. I'll try and include like a voting thing somewhere on the screen. Um, or you can just leave me a comment down below. As you know, I have a second channel. It's my vlogging channel. And I know quite a few of you um, that subscribe here also subscribe on the other channel. And I thought, would it be wise if I just put it all in one place? Because I, it's me that runs the second channel. It's not an Anya and Simon. It's just mostly Anya with Simon there the other time doing stuff. So I thought, would it be wise to bring it all into one place and have it posting every Sunday? and sometimes every Thursday, depending, well, not every Thursday, but sometimes on a Thursday, depending how I split the vlogs. Will that become a pain in the bum? As it is, I already have a playlist that keeps all the vlogs on this channel, and you can see those, but I'm just unsure as to whether or not I should join them all together or should I keep them separate? What do you think? I'm aware that there may be some people that would only ever watch my vlogs over on my vlog channel, but, it's just do I still keep splitting my efforts and try and maintain both channels or do I join them all together? So that's a whole conversation to be having, isn't it? The whole crack about niches. Are they, are we being told we have to be in a niche because that is what has been dictated and it's easier for brands to work with us because we're in this particular niche and we're very focused? Is it because, you know, it's not been any different. And I think this is changing massively in the last sort of year or so. People are massively evolving and they're covering lots and lots of different topics. And it is just becoming more about the person than it is the topic. Um, so that's what in my head, like I said, it's the only magazine and I cover all sorts of every kind of thing. Um, and it's the same on my blog. My blog actually has absolutely everything, including additional posts that I post there that I don't do on this. So. You know, I don't know because when we decide to go traveling, it's going to be really hard to maintain two channels and it might be wiser just to join them. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to stop waffling. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the whole niche carry on? And do you think it's just becoming a dated way of dealing with YouTubers and channels and stuff? What is in a niche? Is it just an easy way to put us in a box? I don't know. I don't know and it's just going around in my head an awful lot. I think it's a topic for discussion and I think it's up to us to decide what it is rather than being told what it is, if that makes sense. Rather than brands and organizers of YouTube and whatever else deciding that you're in this box, you've ticked beauty, you can't be anything else. What do you think? I know lots of people that have changed. Look at Melanie Murphy, she started off with beauty and then she's gone elsewhere. And look at the amount of women that do lots of different topics on YouTube. Hmm, one for the brain. I'm gonna shoot away on. Get involved, let's have some chats. I want to hear your opinion on this, I really do. I wanna sort of decide what is best for my channel. And in the end, it will still be my decision, but I love your input. I would love to know what you think. And is it gonna be a nightmare if I said to join it all into one? Let me know. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all your friends, please get involved. Let's have the conversation in the chats and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Today we're gonna talk about being able to pull that off. So recently I've had quite a few comments on here and on other forms of